when it comes to pro-life versus pro-baby versus pro-anything, the point is the policy. And that is what the Republicans seem to be missing in their formula. You can call it whatever you want, but when you're pushing for policies that are wildly unpopular across the country, in Republican states, in Democratic states, everywhere, no matter where you go, people say, this is too much hands off our health care. And so I think that uh, the Republicans just don't seem to get it. The dissonance is actually quite laughable. Yeah, I think about Ron DeSantis in particular, right, who, who we, we saw there is not getting on board with this idea that some other candidates like Tim Scott, like Mike Pence, have supported of a bigger ban. And then you have political reporting that there is actually the campaign following sort of Casey DeSantis, his wife's push to have the appeal to women voters be about parental choice. Which I understand the opportunity they believe they have with the parental choice frame. It would seem to me, beyond the fact that they have exceeded the limits of that argument, that it is also undone by the fact that they actually don't even want to give parents rights to make decisions about their own families and about their own bodies. Absolutely. Not only do they not want to give parents rights when it comes to their reproductive freedom, they also don't want to give parents rights if that parent happens to be the parent of a trans child. If you happen to be the parent of a black child that wants your child to know the true history of the United States of America, we don't have those rights. So, you know, it doesn't connect. I think they're saying one thing, but their actions show something completely different. And actions speak louder than words. They're not about parents' rights. They're not about reproductive rights. They're about extremism and they're about taking rights away. They are anti-freedom.